There it is. Hey guys, what's going on? I am Sam Crack, and we're gonna find out, did rice absorb the moisture in the padding underneath the carpet on the Money Pit Jetta? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna vacuum the top layer action, you saw that yesterday, and I'm gonna pull it outside, we're gonna check the rice, we're gonna check the padding, we're gonna find out if rice worked. Let's get to it. All right, so our plan here for the Jetta now, let's check it out. So you see the top layer is gone. Got a little bit of like uh, funny stuff there in the carpet now. But anyway, we're going to go and let me feel it. Let me tell you what I feel. All right, I'm not too thrilled. I will tell you, it definitely feels drier than it was. Ooh, this is not gonna be fun. And, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I think it's safe to say the rice did not work. But the nice thing is, yesterday when I shot the video of me putting the rice in, it was a, the only two hours in the day yesterday, pretty much, that uh, there was sun out. And, yeah, I utilized that by putting rice down, taking the seat out, Yesterday was really dreary, as you can see the nice clouds and blue sky. We've got a little bit better weather today. So, let's vacuum it all up. We're gonna pull the carpets up, fold them over. We're gonna let it dry like that for right now. So, yeah, rice, don't do rice. All right, so I spent about 30 minutes vacuuming and I wanna talk about the pros and cons of rice. Let's start with the cons. First of all, it's obviously very small. So, oh no, is it raining? Oh, shit, darn it. This is fucking heavy now, holy shit. This is heavy. Wow, that feels like it's got 20 pounds more in it than it did. All right, guys, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna talk about the pros and cons of rice. Obviously, it didn't work. Obviously, my last video was kind of a funny video. This one, just a follow-up. But a lot of you guys keep telling me about the dehumidifier, and I appreciate the suggestion. There are smaller dehumidifiers, and they're like $50 on Amazon or whatnot, or you could buy the dehumidifying bags. Honestly, the rice, while it didn't work, it definitely didn't hurt. You can feel the carpets are slightly drier this morning. And we're at the point now where if I could just get an hour or two of sun outside with the carpets lifted the way they are, it only affected the whole passenger side. And it didn't raise up to the seats or anything like that. We're gonna be good, it's gonna be all right. So since these videos are all about knowledge and we already kind of knew the rice wasn't gonna work, let me leave you with one tip that I did I've, I kind of knew it before, but I noticed it even more when I was cleaning out the Jetta just now. And that's when you're buying auction cars. This car is a 2013. It only has like 23,000 miles on it. Now over there, there's my S600. That has got 65,000 miles and it is 10 years old. Now you would say, okay, 10 years old, uh, almost three times the amount of miles. And this is only four years old with 25,000 miles. This must be in better condition, and we're gonna we're gonna negate the accident damage, obviously. But the interior condition of this car, while there were no smoke odors or anything like that, uh, it really wasn't the cleanest. You could tell the person that owned it before they had kids. Cleanliness, a lot of times, you can clean up yourself. There's nothing really permanently stained or damaged in here. Nothing that a quick carpet treatment or uh, you know, like leatherette treatment. I'm really particular about keeping my cars clean, so I really notice that sort of stuff. You know, when you take your seats up, you can see more dirt and dust. It's just one thing to keep in mind. If you're super picky about the way your cars are, you might wanna go and check out the car's condition in the accident, because this car could have been meticulously kept. My Fiesta ST was kept, obviously, by an enthusiast. It actually had some performance parts on it, which I'm gonna tell you about in another video. But 
it was immaculate on the inside. The whole front end of the car was missing, but the interior was immaculate, and that's always a good sign. If the interior is clean, then usually it will extend to everything else. This isn't always the case, but a lot of times you'll have a better maintained car and things like that. This car, again, engine transmission worked phenomenal. I'm hoping that it's been sealed up now. In the, in the original video, I showed you where there was a seam that was filled up with a uh, sealer. I'm going to obviously test that once this rain stops, once I have access to get, there's a hose down uh, the way here a little bit. I'm gonna shoot it all underneath the car. I'm gonna shoot it from above. We're gonna make sure that no more water gets in the car. So this was a quick one. I hope you enjoyed it. Rice, car, don't believe in it. Uh, it was fun though, and I appreciate you watching. Make sure to hit that like button if you did learn something in this video, and make sure to be subscribed because I've got a whole lot more coming at you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you very soon.